Hey collective, welcome back to my channel. So for this reading, we will look at what the majority of you all voted for when I put the poll in my community. I asked for the next collective reading, do we want to focus on love, career, self-fulfillment slash growth? And the majority has picked self-fulfillment and growth. So that is what we are going to do today. Um, we've got a dog drinking water in the background. So apologize for the noise. Also, I have a neon light in front of me, so kind of wanted to change the ambiance and the look. So let me know if you guys like that. Let me know if you guys are into me experimenting with different setups, different lighting. I also have a different deck that I'm using today. I normally use the original um, tarot deck, but today I'm actually using the Luna Somina deck and I thought that this would be a good deck to do the self-fulfillment uh, slash self-growth reading because whenever I use this deck I do it uh, specifically when I'm looking for a deeper message when I'm looking for a message that is more profound less surface level more um, in tune with what I'm trying to understand um, and I've totally messed up the deck uh, I've put half of it one way half of it the other so let me just fix that really quick and then we will get started. Um, thank you all for being here today. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I really appreciate everyone that has still been here, especially after my hiatus. Um, it means the world to me. This channel is really important to me. I want it to grow. I want to build a community. Um, I want to be a you know good messenger for all of you. So thank you so much for being here. All right, let's continue shuffling a little bit. And I just want to say that everything that happens when I do these readings kind of, to me, ties into the overall message. So the fact that I initially messed up the deck, you know, as I was shuffling it, I feel like that speaks to a lot of us when we're trying to get through the journey of self-growth and self-fulfillment. Um, sometimes we make mistakes and instead of thinking about the bigger picture, we kind of focus on that mistake. So I could have beat myself up about it. I could have been, you know angry with myself and you know made a big deal about this one mistake but instead i am choosing to do something that i normally wouldn't and i'm choosing to just go go with it go along with it um and just really focus on the fact that i'm just grateful that i get to do this message right now but in the past i would have beaten myself up about it and i would have made a big deal about it and this is in general with any mistake and what I'm saying is that when we make mistakes in our self-growth journey, sometimes that mistake becomes bigger than the overall mission. So I challenge you to not focus on these little mistakes when they happen. Just accept it, say, hey, I messed up, and then just keep going. All right, so we have the magician at the bottom of the deck. A lot of you are trying to manifest something. A lot of you are in this energy of wanting to create something, wanting to make a better future for yourself, wanting to make yourself a better version of yourself. There's a lot here about wanting to grow in multiple areas of your life. And with the magician, that's talking about right now, you're putting in the work to manifest all of these things. So what you want for yourself may not be already in existence. It may not be there right now but you are doing everything that you possibly can in your own power to manifest the things you want to see in your life all right seven of cups a lot of you have so many choices for how you can go about your life I feel like a lot of you may be caught between multiple jobs, multiple, you know, careers, multiple passions. Um, there's like so many choices right now that you're starting to really understand the kind of like, it's almost like when we don't know how blessed we are until we have too many things to, to, to worry about. And I know that that sounds contrary, and I know that doesn't sound like it makes sense, but it's like you have so many options right now that you're starting to get to a point where you're like, wow, I actually have things to choose from. I actually have options. I have a choice that I can make. Whereas, you know, maybe there are other people around your life that feel like they don't have a choice. They are just stuck to one particular path. You may be surrounded by people that, you know, they have a certain life trajectory that they just don't 
stray away from. They don't choose to go a different way. Whereas you are kind of like, you know, the world is your oyster. You have all of these things to choose from and you're in the center of it all kind of just trying to think about it and say, well, which choice actually is what resonates with me? What Which direction should I go? It's almost like you have so many options that you don't you don't know what to do at this moment, but just kind of take it all in with the Empress at the bottom of the deck, along with the Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Cups and the Emperor. I'm sorry, this is too, too good. Okay, so we have the Emperor. We have Two of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Cups, the Empress. Okay, just with the Empress alone and the Ten of Cups, I honestly believe that this path that you're on of self-growth and you know, choosing to to fill your life with the things that fulfill you is it's honestly presenting in a way that I don't think you could have ever imagined. Um, and I would also say that a lot of you are you have options right now that they're so different than what you're used to. It's almost like you've put yourself in a certain position because you've done the work you've you know, you've You've done what you had to do to get there and now it's like you're, you're getting all of these blessings and you're getting all of this abundance and this recognition and this, you know, privilege of choice and you're just like, wow, you know, I can't believe that I'm actually, you know, in this position right now. You're almost so humble that you, you can't even really describe this feeling, but it's a, it's a feeling of being in power. But it's almost like you don't know what to do with it. You don't know which direction to go. You just know that you're going to go on a direction. You know, you know that there's something out there meant for you. And you know that there's a certain thing that you're called here on this earth to do. But it's like there's so many ways that it could look. There's so many ways it can look like that you're just kind of like right now in a moment of I just need to find um, a, a, a path. I need to. It's like you're waiting for a sign to kind of tell you that's the thing, that's the way to go. So I feel like a lot of you are looking for a certain sign to kind of clear that path and tell you which way to go because the wheel of fortune is just that, it is the wheel of fortune. And I feel like, so right now I'm getting the quote, fortune favors the brave. And you know, it's kind of a cliche quote, but I feel like in this case, you've been brave in ways that other people just haven't you know you've done things in your own life that have taken grit bravery courage strength all the words you know you've you've done things in your life that most people if they heard your story they wouldn't believe it they would not believe what you've been able to do in your life what you've been capable of and now the wheel is turning in a, in a way that is in your favor and it's almost like you you have no other choice but to just accept it and embrace it the two of cups is talking about you know, getting the offer of your life. It's like getting exactly what you wanted. It's like, you know, when we dream about something, half of the times we don't believe that it'll come true, but you did. It's like you thought of something, you saw the way that your life was gonna go maybe a few years ago, maybe a few months ago, however long. You had a vision and and where most people might say oh that's never going to happen there's no way you did you you sat there and you said this is what i'm going to do and now you're doing it you're attracting all of these things that you knew deep down inside were meant for you it's just about clearing the path getting clarity on what this path is but with the emperor i really do believe that you're in the right direction you're you're you know you're heading towards um this 3 of wands which is setting out what the future is going to look like and just going after it it's making plans it's making decisions with this energy of you know i i've got it under control i am on top of of my world and there's also this energy of kind of like not settling for less i feel like whatever it is that you're self fulfillment self-growth journey is about there's something here about you not tolerating the same kind of energy you used to tolerate in the past um so during the whole uh covid pandemic time um i think maybe even within the last three to four years 
you've been doing a sort of cleanse where you've been getting rid of people, you've been getting away from certain energies, you've been kind of moving to a different sort of environment. And I feel like that is speaking to your growth. I feel like you've grown as a person. You've become wiser. You've become more clear on who you are and what you want. So with that, there's always this period of kind of just slowly letting things go, slowly, you know, distancing yourself from people to put yourself in a position where you feel like you're actually in control of your own life. Because before this happens, we are kind of stuck in this pattern of just doing what our friends do, just doing what our parents do, just doing what other people think we should be doing. Whereas now you're doing what you want and you're not caring what anyone else has to say about that. It's like you're, you're aware that your life path, your life's journey, your self-fulfillment has everything to do with making sure that you are pleasing you first and foremost. Because you've done enough of the other thing. You've done enough of pleasing others. You've done enough of being someone that you're not. You've done enough of just trying to do what makes sense and do what looks and feels right. But I feel like you've had enough. I feel like you've, you're have you at a point in your life where you just want to make yourself happy. You just want to make yourself feel fulfilled. And I think that the reason why you do have so many choices now is because when we get into this perspective of I'm just going to make me happy, we realize that all of the things that we were doing before and all the reasons why we felt limited was because we were living for everyone but ourselves. So now that you're living for you, it's like you have this choice and that choice and this choice and suddenly your world is just completely different than what it used to be. Okay. So, two of pentacles, magician again at the bottom of the deck. When I say that we have to make a decision, I'm telling you, we have to make a decision. This reading is about you deciding which direction to go. Deciding between one very clear path and another very clear path. It's like you are being presented with something here. Because you've done the work of manifesting. But at the, right after the magician is the hanged man. It's almost like you're stuck because of the options. And that's exactly what I was trying to say at the beginning. And you have to make a choice. You have to decide in order to keep growing, in order to keep going in this path of making myself happy, I have to make a decision. But I'm stuck because all of these options look great. So I think what we need to do here, collective, is really look at each option, really look at each scenario in our lives and think a few more steps ahead and say okay if i did this what does that mean for my career or what does that mean for me financially what does that mean for me romantically what does it mean um you know geographically i mean just throw in all of the factors and then go to the next option and ask yourself the same questions what does it mean for me financially? What does it mean for me romantically? And just do that with every single option that you're thinking, every single scenario in your head. And I promise you, you will get a more clear answer. You will get a more clear idea of which direction to go to. And everything here on this table right now is kind of telling me that you have those options written down. You have them somewhere, whether it's a mental note, you know, you've written it down on paper, you have things that you've been trying to understand about your life and about yourself and and it's a, it's just a matter of putting it all together and trying to work through it as if you were working through a math problem right because the path of self growth it's all a matter of of choosing to see factors and choosing to see the way that things make sense and then deciding which of these combinations will lead to my happiness? Which of these combinations will lead to a life where I feel like I am living intentionally? I am living with excitement, with happiness. I feel like what I'm doing is serving a purpose for myself and for the greater good, if you wish. So if you have desires to help others, you have it within you. You know, if, if you're looking for a sign to do something that has to do with other people, you've got it. This is it. But 
the first thing you have to do is make sure that you are 100% okay before you do that. That you are, you know, you're going to be covered. You're going to be, you're not going to need to make any crazy sacrifices. You have to make sure that you can love you before you decide to venture on a journey that involves other people and other things and other factors. You know, the, the whole purpose of our, our self-fulfillment is that it's for ourselves. And I think sometimes even when we think about that, we, th we still factor in other people. We still factor in all the people we want to help, all the people we want to give back to. We still factor in all the other responsibilities in our lives. But then how is that self-fulfillment? Isn't that just other people fulfillment? So collective, I really, really think that this is just a matter of putting everything on a list, pros, cons, looking at every single option, and then picking the one that resonates with you, that really makes you feel like you're going to grow from it. You're going to be fulfilled. You're going to be happy. You're going to be satisfied. And I think after that, it's just a matter of putting things into motion. Uh, but this is a great reading. I love this for you. And I hope that it was helpful. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give it a like. Please subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.